Welcome, in this video I'll show you how to install OBS plugins, alright? If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, first up, as you can see here, I'm going to open up uh, OBS. Now in here, some plugins will be located differently. For example, a plugin is a source plugin, or it is a tool, or sometimes it is a filter, okay? You'll be able to find plugins in different locations, okay? We have sources, tools, or maybe a filter okay now to install a plugin i'm just gonna close this one to install a plugin open up your web browser down here you'll be able to find free plugins from uh, obs plugins right here just gotta look for obs plugins okay and here open up obs studio plugins wait for it to load and then once it loads you'll go ahead and go to obs studio plugins again and find a specific plugin. Okay, you can go ahead and use these categories right here. For example, I am under tools. Maybe let's just go ahead and try this one, Droid Cam OBS Camera. Let's click on it. Wait for it to load, and I just go ahead and click on go to download. Okay, if you want to, you can go ahead and read through some of these uh, instructions. Okay, if not, just go ahead and click on go to download. Right here, just scroll down if it's from a uh, GitHub. Most of the files right here are uh, being downloaded from GitHub, so it's safe. So in here, just scroll all the way down and go to Assets. And let's find the ones from Windows or for Windows, which is usually .exe. So let's click on it, save it wherever you want, and just wait for the download process to finish. Okay, once that's done, just click on it. There will be a pop-up, just click on Yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and minimize the browser. And I agree. Uh, next, next, finish. Once that's done, you can now go ahead and open up OBS Studio and check the specific plugin. Okay, so where do we find it? So again, go ahead and check out maybe it's in here under sources. As you can see, we now have DroidCam OBS, which you can just go ahead and easily set up. Just hit on OK and follow simple prompts. Okay, and that's basically it. Now, if you have a plugin that requires moving folders, all you need to do is just go out and find the OBS Studio, click on it, right click, now click on Open File Location. And here, in this folder, just go to the top and click on OBS Studio. And usually it will need a data and OBS plugins folder. So just basically move those folders to this folder in here. And then once done, again, open up OBS and your plugin should be installed. And that is it. I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.